It feels like some of the best phone hardware I've ever used. It's way better than, say, the iPhone 7. So getting rid of those bezels on the top and the bottom means they had to make some changes. So you'll notice there's no home button here on the front. It's not on the back either. What there is is like a virtual home button. Samsung has added some haptic feedback. It's kind of like force touch on the iPhone, but it's only right here at the very bottom. And so even if you don't see a software home button, you can still press hard on that area of the screen and that is going to take you home. If you want to unlock the phone, uh, you actually have three different ways you can do it now. Well, four. You can do your password or your pattern as usual, but there's a fingerprint sensor on the back. It is located right next to the camera, which is a little bit hard to reach and not great if you're left-handed. And it also means you're probably going to end up putting your finger on the camera sometimes, which could cause some smudges. So make sure you wipe it off before you take a picture.